the reason I didn't watch the first half of the Seahawks game yesterday was because <laughs> so uh, listening to you and Kyle, we should. I feel like we should I get was, Kyle in here for for this conversation because listening to you, big two big burly men. Burly. Discuss, yeah. Nobody's ever called me big and burly. Before. But you're a big burly man, okay? You have the goatee to prove it. Kyle, I'm going to go get Kyle. I see him out there. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Explain to. Hey, Kyle. Kyle, you right there? Can you come in here for a minute? I want to know why the two Pull of you know so much about the world of Hallmark movies. Like you had to explain them to me, but then when you started, it's Christmas, started yep. explaining, Christmas. you started explaining them to me. I felt like you guys worked at the network as executives. <laughs> I was like, you guys know way too much about Hallmark movies. There's a theme to all these Hallmark movies. There right? is a theme. It's a very Christmas movie. It's a very cliche theme. All right, and the, it always starts out that it's going to be some sort of like romantic comedy as type, or not comedy, but some kind of romantic, uh, mushy gushy, like drama. it's 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 some girl that's growing up with this guy. They're going through childhood, having all the times of their lives, and then she goes to college. She gets the big job in the city. Yeah, he stays behind because he like you know at some local. He's a banker. fireman. Yeah, he's a fireman. He's, he's a, a fireman. Banker. Yeah, he's something. Like she's okay. in the in the meantime, she's in the big city. She meets a new boyfriend, very corporate, big CEO, millionaire. Yeah, big she comes guy. back to the little town, and you know. Wait, hold on a second. So this is Sweet Home Alabama, then. It's, it, it, the it's Reese everyone is Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Every Hallmark movie is Sweet Home Alabama. They just took the shell of that and was just like, let's change a couple names here in the cities. And, yeah, and pretty I much. promise you, Jeff, listen, I was not planning on getting sucked into this at all. but Because you hear Hallmark movies and you know, Christmas, and you're like, okay, whatever. But I was hungover because I had a little too much fun at a holiday so party you the fight. night before. Did you play the drinking game? And uh, No. And so I just laying there. I was just laying there eating junk food and drinking, drinking milk. Drinking game? What are you talking and, about? Drinking game? Oh, and, there's a drinking game that goes with these Hallmark movies. Yeah, we'll there's get to that in a minute. Drinking game that goes along with a Hallmark oh, movie? Yeah. Is that why you watch them? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but you start watching these, and next thing you know, you're an hour into it, and you're sucked in, man. Yeah. Or you're just so drunk you think you're sucked in. And you don't want to move. Wait a minute. So it's like, it's like that annoying radio station play, that plays nothing but Christmas songs. At this time of year, they do nothing but Christmas movies this time of year? Is right. It, these are all yeah. exactly. themed it's, exactly. Christmas it's, movies? Yeah, it's like the day of or the day after Thanksgiving, like Hallmark just right. puts the Christmas movies like on loop. And these aren't like well known. These are their own productions. These yeah, are these like, are yeah. their own productions. They're all the washed up actresses we knew as like, uh, kids, like Brad Paisley's wife, and like like people, yes. people like that. Yes, <laughs> but she's not in it. Winnie Cooper is is okay, in yeah. a couple uh, of these. Right. But, uh, but the, who that else? list of celebrities, right? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. all these washed up uh, who, actresses. By the way, Brad Paisley's wife in the oh. uh, Father of the Bride movie franchise was uh, uh, adorable. What was the Cameron name? Uh, Candace Cameron. Wasn't she the one on uh, Full House? Yes. Yeah, she's, she's in a couple. She's in them. Yeah, the, I, I, I get you. I, she's she, annoying. I can't child stand stars her. that had a little bit of fame. But you know what? But what happens is you start watching these, and the next thing you know, I look down, and I'm an hour into this this movie, and now they're finally. It looks like the, you know they're going to finally the, get, 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 hook up with the old boyfriend, and then I look down, <laughs> and the Seahawks are kicking off, and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? And my wife was, I'm like, you know what? I'll just catch the second half of the game. Okay, I'm not that enthralled in them that I'll miss a football game. <laughs> Just get out of here. You're, you're way cooler than I am. Because Jeremy says to way me, more it's of so man. funny. He's, he's, like, he's like, I, I watched, because I, I didn't see the thing is I didn't watch the second half of the game because I went to my daughter's recital, but I can't get out of that, okay? Oh, yeah, right. Put on That's the not, NFL app on your you phone. Love, well, I, you love. I, I got the scoring the updates. <laughs> I got the scoring updates, but I, I do love the recital. It's my daughter. But it's I've not seen pictures of you dancing with your daughter doing the moves. It's not the girl from Family Matters uh, falling in love with a guy for, uh, <laughs> from Minneapolis. Uh, you know? That's good stuff. Oh, the cliches are great. Oh, well, Mariah Carey was in one of them. She was like a a, 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 a parent. I and she was one. like on the, the Christmas board. How many of these Christmas movies have you seen? I got to shut up. <laughs> How many of these <laughs> Too many, apparently. How many of these Christmas movies Too have many. you seen? And she's a bitch. Just like in right, real life, she's a she bitch. Is. And she's like this gifted, you know, uh, her daughter's a gifted you singer. Know. And then the new kid in town comes in. You know And the mom falls in love with the music teacher who's putting on the Christmas play. Wait, what, and what they character get, is Mariah Carey? She's the she's just a parent, oh, okay. and her daughter always is the lead in the sing along for Christmas. She's the but overbearing then the new, parent. The new kids come to town, and uh, you know the new kid is better. And then yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a it's a Christmas showdown. It's a Christmas showdown, and that's probably the title of it too. A <laughs> Christmas showdown starring Mariah Carey. 
No. Uh, <laughs> they're showing a lot of the old ones right now, but on the, uh, I think tomorrow or Wednesday. They're, they're all such cliche all the titles. New ones. They're all holiday themes. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the uh, oh, what was it uh, that I saw yesterday? The is Christmas it, Cottage. Is there one, oh, is there one called Christmas Cottage? Come home for Christmas? There, there's also one called The Christmas Shop. I'm sure there's Christmas real original garden. creative names. A, a, a cape Christmas side, sharing. A cape side Christmas. <laughs> that one's up in yeah, Boston. I haven't uh, seen that okay. one. No, <laughs> no. I'm just, I'm just thinking. <laughs> yeah. It seems like the Hallmark Channel. Whenever I see them teasing anything or promoting anything, it's always got to be by a bay or something. Like everything takes place by a sleepy bay, which is weirdly enough, that's where horror movies take place too. <laughs> yeah. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ.